Today I will today I will be making an acrylic pour painting. I will be doing the method that's called the dirty pour. And these are some examples that I have done previously. This one I did not use silicone in and this is using cool colors. These two I use the same exact colors and they both have silicone in them, but they turned out very differently. And for this one, I put more heat on it, which I will be showing you guys how to do today. The materials that you will need are a canvas, some white gesso to smooth the, smooth the canvas out, this, the paintbrush to help you paint the gesso on it, and then pouring medium to thin out all the paints. This is optional, this is silicone. You can use it to bring out some cells in the, in the painting. You don't have to use this. And then I like to have a glass of water to if I need to use more, use it to thin out paint more than what the pouring medium is going to do. And then I have several different colors here. You can do any colors you want and you can do as many colors as you want. The first step that I will be doing is putting the gesso on. So I just like to put some on right onto the canvas. And then I like to take my paintbrush and just smooth it out just so that it gives the canvas a nice even white look on it. And I like to do the whole canvas, including the sides, just to make sure that if the paint does run over the sides, that that is all covered as well. I like to make sure also that it's nice and even along every part of it, just so that there's not more gesso in one spot than another. And then... I have previously painted gesso onto this canvas just to keep the process moving along. And then I will show you how to thin out your paint. So you, I'm going to be showing you how to use this, do this step with purple. So you put about just a little bit of, of amount of paint in there. You don't need a bunch. And then you take the, this pouring medium and you just pour some of this in here. And you can always add more later. You don't necessarily have to add a bunch right away. And then you just mix it until you get the desired thinness. And you want to kind of make sure that the thinness of all the paints is the same. Because otherwise you get it gets all messed up. And so then... Like, you want to make sure that it's nice and, like, runny. And so I should probably add just a little bit more just to make sure that it matches the consistency and it's nice and runny. And if you add, feel as if you're adding a lot of pouring medium, you can always add water into it. Just a little splash of water. And then... I'm going to just add one to two drops of this and then I'm just gonna mix that in as well you don't need to stir this as aggressively as you would do the pouring medium just because that is it's it you don't need a lot for it and I'm just gonna set this canvas aside and then to put all the paints together you're gonna need to get a bigger cup than these because you're pouring different paints in and so you don't want it to overflow on the cup. So I'm going to start by just adding some white in there. And you can add this paint in any sort of order that you need. You don't There's no specific order that you have to add it in. You don't have to go from one side to another. Just the, how you're feeling, you just put whatever color you want in. 
and then once you think that you have enough to cover your canvas you can go ahead and put it over which I'll show you that in a second I I learned how to do this through my, all my 4-H experience with doing different paintings and I saw a video on this one day and I thought it was a really cool idea so I've done a lot of different ones I've done different pours I've done different like different colors I've done I've tried a bunch of different things to make it turn out a little bit differently The colors that I chose were just, I just kind of found some different colors that I thought would be, look kind of good together, and I have also, like, I have also just, I'm, I've done this enough that I know, like, how much, like, or what colors go good together, but it's totally up to you how you want what colors you want and like how big of a canvas you want. I'm using a kind of smaller canvas just so that I don't have to worry about a giant canvas getting in the way. So the next step is I'm gonna take the glass and I'm just gonna set it there and then I'm gonna flip the canvas up like this. I'm gonna set it kind of in the middle but it doesn't it doesn't really matter where you put it. I just like putting it in the middle and then I am just gonna take it and I'm just gonna flip it so that the paint is down on the bottom. I'm just going to set the canvas down and wait for the paint to run down a little bit off the sides to, just to make sure that I get all the paint that I need to cover the whole canvas. You don't necessarily have to have all the paint. You don't have to cover the whole canvas. You can leave sp white spots from it. And then I'm going to lift this up and it's going to run like in all different directions. So, it's just going to run out like that, and I'm just going to make sure that I don't have any. And then I'm going to take it, and I'm just going to move the paint around like so. And as you're moving it around, you're going to notice that it's going to start looking like something that looks really cool. Like, that's already looking cool, but it's going to change from this part until your final product. So, and you can keep moving it until you get kind of a look that you like. It doesn't necessarily have to be like, oh, like, I like it like this, so I'm going to stop. Like, you can do that, but you can also just make sure that you cover as much canvas as possible. That's what I like to do. I like to cover as much canvas as I can. And even if I don't add enough paint, I can always, you can always, like, move it around and cover as much. And then I'm going to make just get some more paint out of this just I'm just gonna cover it over here and then and then as that I'm gonna leave it like that just so I can show you how to do the silicone and earlier I added silicone in all of the different paints and to get the cells like you have in this one you're gonna want a heat source of some kind whether that's a heat gun or whether that is just a hair dryer it doesn't matter you can just take your hair dryer and you can just add some heat to it and bring some cells out cells out of it so I'm just, I'm just turning it on low. It doesn't necessarily have to be on high, but I'm just gonna move it around so that the cells start to pop out. And as you see, they already kind of have started to come out in the white. But I don't want, you don't want to leave it on one spot too long. So you just want to kind of keep moving it and just kind of move it around slowly and then once, once you're done with that, you're pretty much done. You just leave it 
sit overnight and it'll dry. It takes a while to dry just because of all the paint. But I hope you guys enjoyed and thank you so much for watching.